I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 261. Find a fiscal month end date based off of the month and year. How do you do this? Well, it's really simple in Quantrix Modeler. I have here a basic model that has two matrices. I want to bring back the end fiscal date of the associated month and year that I have input in here. And how I do this is I have a date dimension table that lists all of the fiscal months uh, and the fiscal year and then the fiscal date with that corresponds to that month and year. And I want to bring back the max date that is associated with that fiscal month and year that I input in here. So how do I do this? Well, looking at this data, I first want to create a fiscal month, fiscal year lookup key. And how I do that is simply go in here to the date dim matrix. I select my month. I do a little concatenation with an ampersand and a pipe. And then I plug on year to that. And you can see that I have this lookup key of month and year. Then I would go ahead and do the same thing over here. And I would say month ampersand pipe ampersand year. And then all it is for my fiscal month end date is it's a select statement. I select the financial date and my key list is my fin month here. And then the value that I want to look up is this input here, which is derivative of these two fields here. And if I hit enter, you'll see that on 829, 8 of 2018, I actually get 729. I don't want that. I think I want the last date of the fiscal month, which would be 825. So how would I then do that? I would simply go down to my formula and I would wrap it in a max statement like this. And it would indeed give me 825 because what is happening with your select, your select brings back a list. It brings back 28 of the items and the max date of those 28 items again is uh, 825. If I were to change this to period nine, then I would expect it to bring back go down here just a little ways. I would expect it to bring back 929 of 2018. And indeed it does just that. So that is how you find the fiscal month end date of a month and year when you have a date dim matrix that goes ahead and gives you the financial dates as we have here in this date dim table. You use a max select function within Quantrix Modeler. If you have any questions about Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. And I hope that you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.